Good morning, guys. So today is Wednesday. Um, we are going to therapy in just a little bit. Sophia is not awake yet, so I'm gonna have to wake her up. Um, she has PT and speech combined today. Uh, I'm going to try to bring the camera and see if I can get anything. Um, I don't know if I will be able to because we haven't seen them in a couple weeks because we were sick. Um, but I'm going to try at least. Uh, and I don't think we have anything else planned for today, but yeah, we'll see how interesting this vlog is. Okay, so we are back from therapy. Um, I have a couple pictures that I'll try to put in here, um, or before at the end, I don't know. <laughs> But Sophia did good. She did a couple steps in her gait trainer. I just couldn't get it recorded because she just didn't do it for my phone or I didn't pull out this camera, but she didn't do it for my phone either. So wouldn't have mattered if I pulled out this camera anyway. Um, I just ate and then um, FedEx came and delivered which I am so excited about. It's the Pioneer Woman knife block. Our other knives we've had forever and they were starting to rust, like all of them. So we got this knife block and I, I think the colors are cute and it kind of goes like with the retro kind of red colors that we have in here. And then I got a few more um, cookie sheets for like the holiday times and um, our bigger cookie sheet is starting to rust too, so <laughs> I got a few more of those, so I'm probably gonna wash the, uh, knife block, or the, not the knife block, the knives and the knife block before I leave them there, but I just wanted to see what it looked like on the counter. It's actually, like, smaller profiled on the counter, which is kind of nice, but Sophia is not napping. <laughs> She's supposed to be. She should be because of how much she worked, but, um, and I'm not sure what else. I'm going to start cleaning soon, and I'm going to be, at the end of this week, I'm going to be going to the store and getting all the stuff for Thanksgiving. Um, I'm trying to decide what kind of turkey I want to get because I don't remember what brand we got last year, but I know the butter balls are like twice as much as a store brand turkey, so I don't know. And I, you know, the free range, organic, whatever, those are even more expensive, so I don't know if I want to get that either. I don't know. It's probably better to get those turkeys because whatever, but I'm trying to figure out what I want to get in that sense, and then... Um, I have to, I have my list that I've made for Thanksgiving, like all the stuff that I'm going to be making and all the stuff that I need to get for it. And then the day after, um, we're going to be going over to Eric's grandma's house because his aunt can't make it to this thanks or our Thanksgiving this year because, um, they're doing Thanksgiving with her boyfriend's kids. So we're going over to his grandparents on Black Friday to do Thanksgiving with them so we can have Thanksgiving with them so I also have to make a dessert for that. Um, we're gonna have a few less people this year for Thanksgiving. Um, Eric's mom and stepdad are gonna be in Arizona and then um, and then Eric's aunt is not gonna be here so duh. Um, but I'm not sure what else. Oh, Sophia did a thankful turkey. I have the dishwasher open because I was about to put the knives away. So I found this in the dollar spot at Target and we just asked her like if those are the things she wanted to put on the feathers and we made this turkey and we put it up over here by the um, thankful board that we have and she just has her little turkey that we made. You're supposed to be napping. You're supposed to be napping. Yeah, you are. Yeah. No, no. No, no.
cutie. <laughs> so I am about to vacuum, but I was gonna show. I don't know why like some places send so many packing peanuts or it, there was like half the box full of packing peanuts and then that um, like not but well I have bubble wrap too and then it also had like those pillow things in it too I, I just feel like it's a little bit overkill and you can't recycle styrofoam peanuts it was just a mess so this is like all over the carpet. I mean, <laughs> luckily I vacuum every day, but holy crap, it's like, uh oh, it's all the way over here. Yeah. So I just put dinner in the crock pot. Maybe I should have done it a little bit earlier, but um, I'm making this beer chicken with shredded cheese on pretzel bun, or not shredded cheese, a beer cheese sauce. <laughs> on pretzel buns tonight, so I'm hoping it'll turn out good. Um, I've never made it before. The beer that I thought that we had was like a, um, I like guess stout beer or whatever. We don't drink very often, so that beer expired in 2014. So obviously I wasn't using that beer because I looked it up and it said that you like beer stays good in the fridge for two years after the expiration date it's a little past that so i had to use some Coors light that somebody left at our house i don't know how i don't, I don't like beer period so i don't know how good the Coors light is going to be in this i made beer brownie or like brownies with beer frosting one time that tasted really good but i also use like a stout kind of beer in it so I don't know hopefully it turns out good um if not I mean I guess we'll get pizza or something <laughs> that'll make me sad if it doesn't um but it's in there right now with the beer and I don't know but I'm gonna vacuum really quick me and Sophia make deals when she is not napping um so I made her a deal that if I put dinner in the crock pot and vacuumed and I'm gonna take that chicken package out to the trash because I don't know about you guys but if I just put the chicken package like in the trash in the house it'll stink like the next day so I take it out to the dumpster right away so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna vacuum the living room and then I'm gonna get her up um, and then clean the rest of the house and I'm gonna try to do the bathrooms today too. Um, I need to clean our tub but I'll probably do that this weekend and Eric he he's not home yet but he did um, I don't know how many of you are following Team Sophia and I posted it on there um, but we didn't do a vlog before he did did we do a vlog before that? I don't know I don't know if he knew that he was doing it before we posted the Halloween vlog. I can't remember. But um, it was a 24-hour gaming marathon thing that a bunch of dads around the world were doing. And um, they were raising money for different children's hospitals. And he was raising money for the Denver children's. And actually, I think... You can still donate until December 31st, so I might put a link in the description box below if you want to donate to Children's Hospital Denver, or um, I think you can search through and find a Children's Hospital near you if you don't want to donate to Children's Hospital Denver, um, but that's the hospital that saved Sophia, so that's the hospital that Eric was raising money for. Um, total during that 24 hour marathon with all of these dads around the world they actually um, they were able to raise eight million dollars which is crazy he did the 24 hours which and it was daylight savings time so he did I'm he had to have done more than 24 hours or did he? I don't know what time he went to bed because I wasn't up when he went to bed. <laughs> but um, I know he did the full 24 hours, if not 
more of the gaming and he was like streaming the whole time but um, he got an envelope from them today long story short so I'm not sure what's in that but he's gonna open that when he gets home um, but if you do donate it's tax deductible and all that jazz and it'll go if you choose the link and just donate straight to Eric's um, fundraiser then it'll go right to Children's Hospital Denver and I can't remember how much was earned for Children's Hospital Denver it was it was a good amount so far um, Eric himself he raised around 200 I think um, and we donated some too but <laughs> um, we he did that the third so it was the weekend after Halloween so yeah we we had already put a blog up and I didn't I don't know if I knew about it or if he had a link yet for it so that's why I hadn't mentioned it but you can donate till the 31st so I will include that down there so I need to start vacuuming because Sophia is going to get mad at me um because <laughs> we made a deal and she is up so I'm gonna go vacuum and get her up Okay, so I'm waiting for Sophia's feed to get done, but I also was going to mention that this week, um, four years ago, Sophia was actually um, admitted to the hospital for the first time after she was born. And that was the time that they said that she had three days to live. Um, I made a video on that last year and I'll, I'll link that wherever. <laughs> um, if you want to see the story on that, but I, uh, I realized that yesterday and then I also had to go get, um, pulse ox probes and I get them at the hospital. So I had to go to the hospital. And I, so I was having issues anyway, having to go to the hospital, but then there was construction being done on the visitor side. So I had to go through the ER entrance and it was just like, oh my God. Like I was trying not to just like have an anxiety attack because even though it's been four years and it doesn't seem like it's been four years, it's just like, I don't know, when that kind of thing happens, I don't, I don't think you could ever get over that. <laughs> like, and she, she did almost die a couple of times during that stay and she would that's when she was put on oxygen for the first time and she was oxygen dependent until she was two around two so she was on oxygen 24 hours a day um i don't yeah she wasn't on oxygen when we started youtube so but she was on oxygen 24 hours a day um after that and she was almost three months old when we were in the hospital then and she reached three pounds for the first time no four pounds not three um and she came off of hospice during that time also but it was really hard because we had posted on facebook at that time that you know the next few days are critical and they think her heart may be failing but they had actually told us you know she's going into heart failure and she's going to die and the doctor was actually sleeping at the hospital and they so weren't doing anything for her. Um, but we had the care conference and I think I talked about that in that video too. I'll have to rewatch it and see. I don't know if I want to, but, um, <laughs> and see if I mentioned the care conference because that care conference was a complete nightmare. And we did a care conference when we went to children's, um, I think the la second or I don't even know one of the times that she was up there her first year and we were terrified to do that care conference because of the care conference that we did during this week four years ago because it was horrible it was the worst experience on top of everything that had already been happening um, because we had almost lost her a couple of times and then we just had this horrible care conference 
and so this week is kind of hard and so um yeah going into the hospital yesterday was just oh my god and there was a lady in the car by me when I got in and I was like trying not to like break down because I had to leave Sophia at therapy because Eric doesn't get home until like five and so I only had that one opportunity while she was at therapy to go and run there for a couple of minutes and go back to therapy and um get the pulse ox probes so I was just like <laughs> I'm sure she thought that I was crazy sitting next to her but uh so this week is kind of hard the week before Thanksgiving and I think like I love the holidays and the holidays are always fun with Sophia and everything it's just they're a little hard with certain memories because a lot of them we thought like a lot of them we almost lost her and then we were thinking like this would be the only one with her and there's just always that thing in the back of our heads you know so um, this week before Thanksgiving is hard so keeping our minds off of it is <laughs> what we try to do but that just it didn't make it easy yesterday having to go there but um, Sophia like I showed her she passed out right as I was getting done with vacuuming so I'm gonna start her feed and then I might try I swept the porch but I might try to pick up some leaves like along the sidewalk just because they're there um, and then dinner actually is getting done so <laughs> I was a little worried that I put it in too late because this crock pot our other crock pot gets too hot so I put it in I use the old crock pot when I put stuff in too late and I want to get it done fast but I don't want it like I don't want to have to do the oven kind of thing if that makes any sense but this crock pot works the way it's supposed to so I am hoping that it will be okay <laughs> okay so we open the mail <laughs> that's what I got it's like a, what is that Oh, I don't know if it was like a bumper sticker or whatever, but that's what it's called. It's extra lie. There we go. And you got that. You can do that. Oh, platinum milestone. Fancy. 